Do you think wise people live long? Do you think people who live long tend to be wise? Do you think wise people tend to be happy? I think all these three questions may be related to each other. Maybe the reason is that there's a certain base to each of those sentences to be valid. I use the term samadhi to have a calm and quiet mind and then no self. So you're not confined in your ego or self to be open. So you may be inquisitive and curious what's going on. And the curiosity has some relationship to being wise, in my view. I haven't done my homework. I was to study Einstein's quotes because in one YouTube video, I could resonate everything they were talking about, about Einstein. <laughs> and if Einstein is wise, would I be a little wiser to understand what he's talking about? Would I live long? <laughs> would I be a happy person? I'm not going to answer that question. Um, time will tell. But inquisitiveness, happiness, childlikeness is connected to samadhi state of free thinking, not confined like a child. And that seems to be feasible those for, the, for those who live long because they are connected to activities, not just egocentric in doing something. And not being egocentric to me is being wise because you can see a bigger picture than just a small part of the universe of your own interest. But your own interest is so big like a children, what's this, what's that, lots of questions. And if you have those questions externally, you may have a question to internally relation in relating to the health, which could be a factor to live long. My sense is that you become curious about why things happen. And that's my tendency. Why do people do what they do? That's much as why I do what I do. Why do I get upset in what this situation is? It's another one. Not just uh, positive and interesting, but going backward to study myself, know myself, so that I can connect to the heart. One of the book titled Results from the Heart is connecting to that because from the heart is the compassion and wisdom. And if you do things good for, for you and for others, I think that's when I said in one of the video, heaven helps those who help themselves. So you become lucky. Why you become lucky? Because you're not constrained. Not just constrained in the mind, but not constrained in your whole being to the point that you may not worry about dying. <laughs> that makes sense. But if you're not worried about dying, you're expressive. I think Picasso lived long and he's a little crazy, but he had a fear of death, but still he could utilize what he's got interest and in devoting himself in that. He said, the painting is stronger than me. It tells me what to do. I think there are many other quotes right now I can't remember. But Einstein said something 
related to my think as being wise in many ways. So, so there are many of them. I'm going to put in some other video about how I found it. And uh, Carl Jung, he had a quote, I'm not sure if I can repeat it, but he said his life was like a lot of stories of so becoming conscious of unconscious. And that is like my book, Without From the Heart. Conscious of unconscious is unconscious, it's like a heart. Down, down deep is that heart that bring out pumping the blood and excitement beyond the confined mind. So, yeah, and also there's a study I did checking all the famous Zen monks. They tend to live long. Dogen, Dogen didn't live long, I think 50 some years old, but this is not Zen monk, but Shinran lived uh, until 19 years old. Dai said Suzuki, 96. The Buddha, 80 years ago. 80 years, and this is 2,500 years ago. So, utilizing full potential of who you are, not just in the mind, but the whole body, so that you don't waste. Things are, in a video I said simplify, combine, and eliminate. So, it flows through as if there's no barrier, no confinement. Still have the inquisitiveness, endless inquisitiveness of search for truth. I think there's people like Deming and uh, what's the other one? Anyway, Deming is one of the ones who is known as the quality guru. He lived long. My understanding is all the judges and the scientists and the professors in academia tend to live long because they are doing what they really like. And to do really like means you are to open up, go beyond the confinement and curiosity, capturing ideas and synthesizing them, keep moving forward. And I think that's the direction of the humans to become, to be. Um, AI is in a way like that Samadhi and Panya. Samadhi is common quiet mind and access to all the unconscious part of the memory to configure, to respond to the needs. So that's the Samadhi and the Panya, the wisdom. AI go through the same thing. There's a question, which way to go, what is the answer to that? They go through all the web of the information and then come up with the answer. Like becoming conscious of unconscious. Unconscious being the huge database. So all this stuff that I'm talking about, I see has commonality, the principle, and if I say simply, the driving force is of life, it's Shila Samadipanya. Shila is finding the right conduct or right equation in scientific manner, right or beautiful painting, or any of the sportsmanship of achieving something beyond the limit to go forward utilizing the best of what you got. Again, Einstein being one of the examples. And they behave like a childlikeness, mischievousness, free will. And the Zen is also an example of that. Zen monks.
they may come out as a little crazy, but let me call it also honest to themselves instead of too confined by the protocol of the society. I'm not saying that's good or bad, but if you connect to the root, the heart, and practice samadhi and panya, and there's that childlikeness, happiness, having fun, and be alive with what you do. Wouldn't that be how we want to live a life? Certainly, in my case, I've studied Daisu Suzuki 40 years or more. Still fascinating to read the books he left and picking up and open up the page, run down and read, and then again, it's like a reading the first time. There's some liveliness coming out. So, I guess the point of this video is starting with is being wise tend to live long, living long tend to be wise, being wise to be childlikeness, free spirited, not egocentric, you know, all that stuff. Hard to describe. But that's the source of who we are in our heart and to connect to that instead of being confined in this do this mechanical linear logic and you may have to do, make a living out of it but still try to find why I'm here what makes me happy in, interesting and find the subject move on and live long and help others and help yourself. May we do that. I like to keep on moving forward in that direction. Help me to so help you possibly and share your information or comment as you wish. No confined thought, just playfulness. Thank you. Have a good day and good night.